Hi guys, the Etchy Bells, my fairy treasures. Okay, I'm coming around. Just a second. Still coming around. Hi guys! I forgot my water, so I had to go grab that out of the other room. Um, what I want to show you guys first before I start, I told you guys um, I've knitted all of these um, boho cardigans. Just a second, I have a mirror in front of me that's kind of showing me what you guys are seeing. So let me just see what that does right there. Okay, and so I said that I would start showing my knittable boho cardigans or whatever I've knitted because people are always asking about them. So this is a boho cardigan. I've worn two other ones that people have asked about and I'll wear them again and show you guys before the winter is out. So this is what this looks like. And here's the back. And this one goes right below my knees. Okay. So there we go. I love these boho cardigans. And they are so simple to make. I'll talk about it and let you guys know. So that's what this looks like. And that's what this is. And if you don't want to hear anything about my cardigans, for the first maybe three to four minutes, just skip ahead. It's just that a lot of people are curious about these boho cardigans. And um, I get a lot of questions about my knitwear. So I said I'll start um, discussing them the first couple of minutes of my video. Just a second, I'm just fixing my mirror. Okay, so, um, maybe that's better, is it? I think so. Okay, anyway, so really quick on how I made this boho cardigan. I use a uh, chunky, like a number five, number six, chunky yarn, okay? Now, this one, I use like 10 different, it's like a scrappy boho cardigan. Um, I, yeah, I use 10 different colors. So like every like, I would knit like five or six rows and then change color, five, six rows, change color. And look it, I went, I did it just however I wanted. I would do maybe five rows here, six rows here, three or four rows here, see how that's not as wide. And just kept doing it like that and changing. Um, you can cast on anywhere from 100 to 120 stitches. I know that sounds crazy. 100 will probably get you right below the butt, fairly in the back, fairly low behind the butt. 115 will get you probably to like, somewhere around the knees. And then if you want to get lower than the knees, like to the calf, you need to do about 120 stitches casting on. Okay, so then what you do is then you're just going to knit yourself a big blanket. Not really big. You're going to knit it out to, to between 52 and 55 inches. And um, I would say 50, 52, and 55. If you, at 50, you're at a, like a small, um, at a medium small. If you knit it out to 52 inches, you're at like a medium large. If you knit it out to 55 inches, you're going to be probably at like a large extra large okay so now what you have is you'll have one big rectangle right you just fold the rectangle in half boom okay then here's here here it is okay at the bottom you're going to start sewing up the side and as you're going to sew it up until it's about nine inches left open here and that's where your arms are going to go you do the same thing to the other side okay from the bottom Sew up until it's nine inches, nine inches right here where you're going to put your arms in at. And then you just take the, the whole rectangle and you go like this. And then that becomes the boho cardigan. You're able to put your arms in and everything. And this is open. You can put, um, you can buy these at Hobby Lobby. I picked these up. I got lucky. These were on clearance. These were like $10, $12. I found them when they were $1.50, 2 bucks at Hobby Lobby when they are clearancing them out. So always be looking when they clearance these out in the knitting section. Um, these shawl pins. And you can just close it together with one of these, or you can just wear it open, whichever one you want to do. So that's how you make those. That's how you make the boho cardigan. Um, if I can remember, I have a video. Well, I pretty much just in my video say the same thing. So I won't even find that video. So that's how you do it. It's really simple. Okay. Um, I do have the winner of the um, giveaway, and we'll announce that at the end. Okay. So let's get started on this. Um, I have a cup here full of tea. I don't want to spill. Actually, I think I'll have it. And drink some of it. Isn't this a beautiful mug? It's Mackenzie Child. So I have the black and white buffalo check, black and white Mackenzie check ones, but also I have the flower ones too. Oh, they're so pretty. 
Okay. It's not, it, it's tea, but I, it's a lemon. I just squeeze lemon in hot water with ginger and honey. So good. Okay, so let's get started on this haul. Okay. There's a few things that are all together. Oh, there's one other thing. Okay, guys, let me just get this out of the way. There's one other thing people can ask me. There's another question, but I'll get, and I'll get to the Dollar Tree haul, I promise. If you don't want to hear about this, skip another three minutes. Um, people keep asking me what moisturizer I use. Okay, because I think I've talked about it before. From head, even on my hair, I can use it. From hair, not everyone can use it on their hair. If you have, a, you know, if you're a black woman and you have black hair, you can use it on your hair. You need hair with texture to use it on your hair. Or you can use it on your ends if you have, you know, finer hair or whatever. But anyway, I mostly use it from face, from on my face, neck, body. Okay? And I use raw organic shea butter. I just bought it today. So I thought this would be the perfect time to discuss this. I buy it at my indoor swap meet. This lady has all raw organic shea butter. She sells it. She has like a very um, new agey type of store. And um, it's um, raw organic shea butter. Now you can get raw. Make sure you look for it. Raw organic shea butter. You can get that on eBay. Okay? And if you're going to get it, you want it to look something like this. Because I did buy some and it wasn't raw organic shea butter. It looks like this. Okay. If I can remember, make sure write it down. I'll write down where online I bought it at. But if I can, I buy it from my lady at the indoor swap meet because she um, she's my friend and I want to give her the business. So um, only time I order online is if she's out of it. I'll order online. I'm going to write it down right now to write to put that in the uh, subscript in the um, description below to tell you where on eBay I buy the raw organic shea butter. Because some people are trying to mix it and they mix it with some type of chemical stuff. And it's not the right stuff. I know it by when I put on my body, my body reacts, so I can tell right away. Plus, I can tell by the smell. Um, raw organic shea butter. Now it does smell. Um, it has that organic smell. Okay, it doesn't smell like a chemical at all. So it's very organic. Um, you can put essential oils in it if you'd like. Um, I don't even do it anymore. I just I like the way it smells, so I just do it. But if you want to put whatever essential oil in it, you can put a little bit of that in there, and that'd be nice too. Okay. But if you're putting on your face, I wouldn't put any essential oil. So what you do with this, okay, because now it's raw, right? It's real, real thick and just thick. Look at that. Like chunks of butter. Okay, and excuse my damn broken nail. It just happened a little before I came on here. Okay, you take this. Um, if you have a KitchenAid, put it in your KitchenAid. If you have, if you only have like a handheld blender, you just put it in a bowl, get your handheld blender out. Then you're just going to put in, I don't know, with the amount of this, maybe a half a cup of um, olive oil. Now, you can use other natural oils if you want. Do not use vegetable oil. Do not use mineral oil. Do not use baby oil. Those are all fake oils. You want to, This is organic, raw, pure. So you want to keep it raw, organic, and pure. You pretty much always want to keep it raw, organic, and pure. But anyway, so, and what's going to happen is it's going to, um, it's going to keep poofing up, poofing up. It's going to turn to like a, like a really fine mousse, and then it's ready to use. Don't heat it up or anything. Some people will have videos about heating it up. Then I think you're ruining the benefits of it. All the minerals and vitamins and all the nutrients that are in it. So this is a small, I put this in this jar, this small jar, because this small jar, um, this small jar um, is for by my, um, it, it's for my face. So I just put in a small jar for my face. So that's what it looks like once it's all, you guys see that? That's what it looks like once it's all uh, like a mousse. So you want to get it to be real light and moussey. And what will happen is when you buy, if you buy one that's this big, whatever size you buy, it'll d be double. So I, what I have is I have a whole other container. Pretty much, it's probably almost double. So I take another container like this. I use this same container, put fill this to the top, and take another container and fill it about three quarters full. So you're going to have double the amount of product, Okay. And it's, I mean, you guys, it's so heavily moisturizing. It's ridiculous. It's so delicious. It's so, um, I'm trying to think of the word. It's delicious. It's just so moisturizing. Um, the word's coming to me anyway that I want to say. Decadent. That's what I want to say. It's very, very, very decadent. It's the best stuff. You can't even buy this, okay? No one's giving you 100% raw organic shea butter. They're mixing in Vaseline and mineral oil and all those things that are actually horrible for your skin. 
Now, um, really quickly, I'm just going to explain that. Why am I not going to put mineral oil, baby oil, or um, vegetable oil in here? Okay. When you use mineral oil, Vaseline, baby oil, that is a byproduct, by byproduct of gasoline. I know that's a horrible thing to hear. So it's really actually kind of toxic for your system. They put it in everything, but they want to make money, right? They want to have you do something with this byproduct, and they said it was good for you. It's not. Um, if I had a little baby, I'd be putting this on their skin right, right out of the womb. I'm telling you, this stuff is the bomb. And this is why a lot of people, and I say thank you very much, have complimented my skin. And they said, what do you use on your skin? And this is the thing I use on my skin. You could also use this, take your makeup off, get a hot rag, get all your makeup off, and your skin, it'll be nice and clean and will feel like a baby's butt. Also, one other benefit to using this, this also has its own natural SPF. So whenever you use this, you can go out in the pool with this on. Whenever you use this, you put this on after you take a bath, you're protected always. On your face, you're always you're always protected. I would put this on my kids before they went swimming, before I would put any of that other SPF. Again, SPF, I won't even get into it, but it, I won't even get into SPF. It's not good for your skin, okay? I'm going to say that because that's a whole other conversation. I would use this, and this is what I did use on my kids. So, okay, sorry about that, but everybody was asking me for a long time, long time what the heck I was using, and that's what I was using. Okay, oh, that's what I am using. Okay, let's get on to the Dollar Tree haul. Okay, and like I said, you could have skipped ahead, so I give you a forewarning. Skip ahead three or four minutes so you don't have to listen to me if you don't want to listen to that. Okay, this is going to be a fun Dollar Tree haul. i got some fun stuff in here. Okay, this is not a big deal. But I bought two boxes of the dark chocolate uh, Queen Anne uh, chocolate covered cherries. I talked about the um, peanut brittle. It's just something that I love to have at the holidays. It just reminds me of the holidays. Because when I was little, it seemed like it was the holidays when we had Hickory Farms, the big Hickory Farm set, the sausages, the cheeses, and all that. Chocolate covered cherries and peanut brittle. So... The older I get, the more nostalgia I get. So, okay. I bought two of these. Now, you think I'd buy these for a beauty basket or something like that, but I didn't. I heard a girl say that she didn't buy these. She bought something else that was in the section where they sell all the scrubbies and stuff for, like, dishes and bathrooms. But she, it was something like this. And to scrub your uh, shower. And I thought, because this is what I do. You know those mitts that you can wear and they have a real rough texture to them? That's why I, I scrub down my shower while I'm in there. I take some shampoo, put it on there, and scrub down the walls with it. Um, I actually don't use shampoo on my hair. I actually wash my hair with baking soda and I condition with vinegar. Water, vinegar mixed with water. And baking soda mixed with water for my shampoo. But my husband still uses shampoo. So I have shampoo in the shower. And I put the shampoo... So what I was doing is I was putting the shampoo on my mitt that has that texture to it. It's real rough and scrub down my whole bathroom while I'm in there. So I don't ever have to like basically take time after I get out of the bathroom to scrub my bathroom now. But you know what? I don't even now have to really bend down. I can just, and I can reach in all type of places with this. So put your shampoo on here. And shampoo, I learned this from the fly lady. Shampoo breaks down. It, it really breaks things down, which is why I don't use shampoo in my hair. It really breaks the hair down. That's why I use, ba I use one, because someone's going to ask me, I use one cup. What do you do is you do one cup of uh, water to one tablespoon to one cup of water to three tablespoons of baking soda. Put it in a squirt bottle, squirt all over your hair, your scalp, scrub, 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 scrub rinse. Then I take, um, let's say, if we do it by measuring, you know, I don't measure crap, uh, a quarter cup of apple cider vinegar. I think you can use regular white vinegar too. I use apple cider. Quarter cup of apple cider vinegar, fill the rest with water in a measuring cup. One fourth cup, rest with water. And I use that for conditioner. It makes your hair silky soft. And then if you need oils and all that, you can put some oils in your hair. I use olive oil, shea butter. Anyway, I just said that because I know somebody was going to ask me about that. So, um, put some shampoo on here, the regular type of shampoo. And um, scrub your bathroom. And you can shower, your shower, your bathtub. And you can do it really quickly. And you can just get so much more area so much quicker. And you don't have to bend down so much. You could just be like this, you know, this vowel. So I picked up two of them. And I look pink. Okay, that was a long explanation for those scrubbers, but but when I talk about these things and I don't explain myself, people always ask me questions. They're like, okay, you just half explain that. Go back, you know, so I'm trying to explain things as I go along. Okay, um, this organizer right here, I love it. It's the one that has the three compartments. See? 
Love this. I have a couple more, but I, know th I felt like I need another one. I have some stuff I'm working on with my mixed media that I need to have this. So I picked that up for my organization for my crafting or my mixed media. Um, this is a garlic cheese ball mix. I, and I have some cream cheese in my refrigerator. So tomorrow for Christmas, I'm doing a cheese board or recuterie board. How do you say it? Arcuterie, recuterie board, whatever. So I thought I'd make myself a cheese ball too. A garlic cheese ball. So, and somebody said it was good. So I picked this up. I was just there this morning. This, this haul is from this morning and a few days ago. So mixed together. Okay. Okay. I picked up, I think I picked up three of each. Maybe the other ones are in... picked up two here and I think I picked up two there. I picked up four, four of these. But I picked up four of this one. Making sure my camera's still going. Is it? Yeah, it's over. Okay, I picked up four of this coloring book. Look how beautiful this coloring book is. It has fabulous pictures in it. Um, my next uh, giveaway, um, I'll be giving away some coloring books. Adult coloring books. Look at that picture. They haven't had these really, really beautiful adult coloring books for a while, so that's why I wasn't picking them up. A couple of years ago, they had tons of them, the real big, fat, thick ones that were like 15 bucks. I picked up like 20, and I was giving away coloring books, adult coloring books, every single giveaway. Look how beautiful that is. I'd love, you guys, you know what? I want, I've been saying I want to do a video where I'm coloring out of the, the Dollar Tree adult coloring books, so. Do I have my... Readers should be right here. They're usually in my little basket, but I took them out. <clears throat> I'm trying to see who, I was going to read off who made this book. It's not one of the Dollar Tree ones. It's, um, I think it's one that you would get like at a regular store. Like a Barnes and Nobles one. These two are cool. Okay, just so you can get a feeling. Isn't that the cool, that is a cool adult coloring book absolutely love it here's the other one i picked up four of these also the other two are somewhere else i don't know where the heck they are oh i sent two of them out in, as happy mail already one of each of the ones i'm showing you and the other one is i don't know where um okay look at this isn't that fabulous i would love to do the giraffe to color the giraffe fabulous and I like to get into my coloring. I like to do all the shading and all that. I love it. I get obsessed. Okay. Beautiful. And if you want to get good color combinations, any of the name, any of the really big names of adult coloring, they have websites. They have um, Facebook groups or websites. Go there and see the colors that they're using. And then you can get color combinations. Adult coloring book Facebook groups or websites for the coloring books, they have the best um, went to, show, to show you about the um, different color combinations. I love that turtle. Oh, fabulous. Okay, so if you see these coloring books at your Dollar Tree, I would pick them up. The And they have nice thick pages to the good paper. Oh, that's going to be a thumbnail right there. Okay, those are fabulous. Um, oh, I should throw this. Uh, the, co the color I have on today, which I think is so pretty. Isn't that pretty? a pretty color? Oh, this is my present for my husband. Excuse my broken nail. But he gave me... The guy who makes um, my jewelry, the turquoise jewelry I wear, or this is a type of tiger's eye. It's a type of African tiger's eye. Isn't that pretty? Um, I have it always in this, the description below if you ever want to go check out his... Um, his joy. It's beautiful. Anyway, I'm wearing this nail polish. This is this color here. This kiss polish. This is the red I like. Instead of the red reds, I like um, more of a whiny red. A blood wine red. That's what I like. So I'm wearing that. Let me put this away. Sorry for some of you if I'm being a little bit too talkative about different things going off subject, but 
I have people asking me a lot of questions, so I need to, you know, answer those. And I know probably if some people are asking, other people have those questions too. So, okay. Oh, and happy holidays, everyone. Christmas is tomorrow. How fun. Exciting. Okay. I just got some rounds wrapped. No big deal. Well, let me tell you about this real quick. And I also got two things of parchment paper. I went to my grocery store to get this parchment paper and the foil. Um, it was $8. It was to buy a big pack, but it was, no, it was 10 I used to buy that same uh, pack of foil for like $6, $7. I'm like, you guys are crazy. So if I have to buy three or four to match this and spend four bucks and basically get the same amount, that's what I'm going to do. So that's what I've done. So I, I didn't get four of them because all I needed was two because I already still have some foil and some parchment paper, but I like to keep stocked up. So anyway, those prices at the grocery store are out of hand as well as the gas out of hand. They say it's going down to till, to, still too damn high for me. I'm sure for most of you it's too high. Anyway. Oh, another story for another time. Okay. Um, I have some, I, I do a lot of mixed media, so I got some cotton twine, and I like that that's white, and it's it's really not that, like, um, tightly twisted, but it's going to be perfect for my mixed media, so that's why I got it. And it was in the hardware section. Oh, and I... I'm going to explain what I'm going to be doing with that, too. I have a project. Um, I picked up two of these. Um, Ioni has a whole bunch of stuff that you guys have seen in other people's videos. I love these applicators. These are the applicators for masks. So when I put my mask on, that's another thing. I make my own mask, too, and I use a, um, a clay mask that I get from my um, Mountain Rose Herbs. And I'll talk about that in my next video, and I'll show you how to make that. Super easy, super inexpensive, and completely organic and beautiful for your skin. But look, I love these to put my mask on. I'll tell you about another mask I'm, I make. It's really quick and easy. You take a sweet potato, put it in the oven at 400 for one hour. Scoop out the middle, mash it to all hell, throw in a little bit of honey, and then put them in like the ice cube trays and freeze it in your freezer. And when you need to a mask, you just take that out, set it out for 10 or 15 minutes, put that mask on your face, it is so moisturizing. It produces collagen in the face. It makes your skin feel really bright. It's a great mask, all natural. And I use this to put that on. So, I have one already, but it's not, I wanted to have a little stock of them because I love them so much. And it's cute. It's pink. And I only, so I got two of those. Um, I needed some new tweezers. We had my, I haven't bought new tweezers forever, and I love the color of that, like, robin's egg blue, turquoisey blue. Fabulous. So I got that. They have a whole display right when I walked in of Ioni and had mascara. I wish I would have got the mascara. I, I don't know if I would like it or not, but I wanted to try it, because I like to try just mascara. I love mascara. But I didn't buy it. And then when I went back a couple days later, it was all gone. Um, I got a sanding sponge, which I'll explain why I need that for I, I use it on a lot of mixed media too but I'm gonna use it on um in this project I'm gonna talk about in a second um I picked up like four of these because I am obsessed with these okay this is the crease brush wet and wild I'll take it out of the pack the reason I like this crease brush is to put the color in your crease and the outer corner um, I used to see girls taking a brush that was this size and they would do a windshield wiper motion in their crease and it blended it out so nicely and it just made it look beautiful. And then they just took the color and patted it like this in a V on the outside with this brush. It's like they're doing so much with this one brush. So I've been using it and I have some, I was just looking at my stash and I just, you never know when they're going to stop making this brush. So, I just want to be well stocked on this brush. And I can't get it out of the pack. Is it taped in here? Oh, okay. So, here's the brush. It's a wet and wild. I love the pink on the end. So, that's all it is. 
but I love it. And see it, it fits so nicely right here. And you just go back and forth and it really blends. So you don't have some major line. It really blends in your color in the, uh, your crease color, like your dark brown. So it's brown, your, your browns. Put a dark brown there. And then you can take it and just um, put it back in your eyeshadow and dab right like this for the V. And it really puts the color in nice. I love this brush. So I picked up four more to stick in my stash. And I think I picked up, yeah, I picked up three for my stash and one for giveaway. So I will be giving one away in the next giveaway. I give these away kind of a lot. So I throw, in a, I throw them in giveaways quite a bit. Okay. This is the next thing I'm going to talk about. I picked up one, two, three, four, five, seven of them. Uh, six for me and one for my husband. He needed it for something he's working on. But what they are is they're for the drip pans when you're going to change the oil in your car. So they were in, and they're about this. Look how big they are. Nothing in the organization, organization section is this big, is it? Fabulous. Huge. See how big it is? Okay. Uh, it's a drip pan when you change your oil. So what I'm doing with these, and the reason I needed so many is because I'm going to be doing a lot of it. For one, I'm going to be dyeing fabric, um, dyeing, um, rust dyeing fabric. Now you're like, what the hell is rust dyeing fabric? Okay, I'm going to tell you right now. So you use these and you need rusty metal. Okay, I don't have a bunch of rusty metal. I had a few pieces of rusty metal, but not enough rusty metal. So I picked up some metal pieces at Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you uh, what I picked up and then how I already started rusting one of them. Okay, so... Um, I picked up this star. Now, the reason I have to, it doesn't rust easy because it's all galvanized. Galvanized means they put something on it so that it doesn't rust. So, um, I'm going to have to use something pretty strong to make it rust. And I bought two of these and you get four in a pack, three. So you get six stars. Um, I bought this piece. And all these pieces are going to be rusted and um, used to um, uh, dye rust fabric. I know it sounds weird, but it comes out so cool. You guys, it comes out so grungy and just aged and really cool. This says Peace, Joy, Believe. We're going to rust these. <coughs> and I'll do some of this rusting of how to rust these on camera and how to rust the fabric. I'll do the whole thing as like a series very soon. Um, these I'm going to rust. I found these in the kitchen section. It's just like little cheese graters. These will probably rust up really easily. <coughs> I picked up two of these as my rusty metal. I'm going to throw all these right now into my... So when I... Um, I'll talk about it in a second. This says Thankful Harvest and Welcome. I just need rusty shapes is all I need. Um, I did pick up more of the stars, so if there's another one of those. I picked up two of these. I don't know if I already showed you these or not. Did I show you these? I don't know. Okay. And this one here. Okay, so what you do is you take a piece of rust, you take a piece of metal, galvanized metal like this, and you can take um, toilet bowl cleaner. This is Titan Bowl. Get it from Dollar Tree. Okay. For me, uh, I'm at the craft section. I look to my right, and there is the tiny wall. It's right up against the back wall. So you take this, you pour it all over this. Okay. Maybe get like a little napkin or a brush or something and just rub it kind of haphazardly and not evenly, haphazardly all over this. And then you set it outside, and then you can put it, all these pieces that you put this tidy bowl on. You can put it in one of these buckets. That's why I got them. Okay. Um, and then they can rust. It takes to get a good rust going. It takes a few days. So um, I've been rusting a piece and it's been like three or four days. It's rusted real good. So this stuff does work. Okay. This um, toilet bowl um, cleaner. Automatic toilet bowl cleaner. Yeah. So this works really good. Um, Okay, so now you have your rusty metal, right? So then you take your rusty metal and take some um, whatever fabric. You can do a t-shirt. 
cut up t-shirts and you know into like some little I don't know half half yard maybe smaller quarter yard fabric from a t-shirt and wrap them around like this take some fabric sheets whatever type of fabric you have and wrap it around and then you uh, pour vinegar on top and um, you can pour you, actually before you wrap the fabric you can put salt on here and then um, wrap it all up and then pour vinegar all over the fabric and um, I might even wet the fabric before too or not who cares and then put vinegar on it and then um, pour vinegar on this and then you'll let it sit out in one of these that you've rinsed out the toilet bowl cleaner and then it will rust and that's how you uh, you uh, rust the fabric metal rusting fabric I'm so excited because I like grungy vintagey looking projects um, and then I'll show you guys what I'm gonna do with all these and anyway, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a thing so also you can tie them with this stuff this white type of twine it's a cotton twine yeah any whatever twine you have to your house you can use you can even use rubber bands but then I'll have this stuff that I can do projects with too and it'll be all rusty so that's what I'm doing with all of that That's going to be a whole series for the year that I will be doing, like, rusting all type of rusting fabric and what I'm doing with those rusty fabrics. And I'm mixing them up in my mixed media, in my art journals, in my junk journals, and different projects. So, all right. Next, um, I love these girls, the LOL dolls. So it's just, a, it's just a tote. Love it. I love them for like, I use them a lot for my knitting projects. And for my projects, period. Oh, I was so excited that I found these. And I went back a, a day or two later because I know there were some people who said they wanted these. They were all gone. By the time I knew that a couple of people on YouTube said they wanted them, I went back to get them. They were all gone. These must have, I, I went back, like I think that even the next day. That's Dollar Tree. You have to buy it right when you see it. But anyway, I got these. These hot cocoa. And they light up. And they say, hot cocoa with marshmallows serve here. Now, this right here for for my Christmas. I do my Christmas pink shabby chic. So this won't match that. But this will match my house for the rest of the year. So I'm going to put these on my coffee bar um, the rest of the year. For fall and just the rest of the year. Ooh, the light's not working. How sad. Oh, I didn't pull the thing. There we go. Isn't that cool? Love it. Okay, so I got two of the red ones. Like I said, this will go on my hot cocoa bar. Um, I'm going to set it right over here so that it can just go on my hot cocoa bar when I um, change it back out to my regular. I always have a hot cocoa bar all year round. So that will be for all year round. Um, I got these two also. Now, this is going to go out. This can go out anytime also in my house because it was so match. But this really matches, like I do a pink shabby sheet Christmas right now. This would really match it. So I'll put this out over near the hot cocoa bar. Um, and I have some robin's egg blue, like this light, light, light blue in there mixed with the pink shabby, with the pinks, light pinks, creams, and then the blue. So I have those in there. So that'll be really nice. And I think they're so adorable. It says coffee. Isn't that so adorable? Oh my God, I think it's so cute. Like I said, I know some people wanted them after, and I heard they wanted them after I got them. And I went back. They had a lot, so that's why I just went back like the next day. It wasn't even two days, it was the next day. I wouldn't think they'd be out by the next day. Gone. I had like 30 of them. People have been going nuts at Dollar Tree. Nuts. Dollar Tree is not a secret anymore to us. It's not a secret at all. People have gone crazy. Um, Pamela gave me uh, this picture. when She sent me her happy mail. Hey, Pamela. You guys go see Pamela's World. She is the queen of Dollar Tree hauls. And um, you'll love her channel if you haven't gotten her channel. I'll leave a link below. Pamela's World. She, anyway, she gave me this picture already. I wanted this so bad. Now, I didn't see the rest of the collection at my Dollar Tree. This is all I saw. So, um, since she already gave me this, I'm going to go ahead and put this in a giveaway. So the next giveaway 
Let's get this. Yay! Um, isn't that the most, isn't that picture just beautiful? I want the whole outfit. I want the jeans. I want the heels. I want the purse. I want the whole damn thing. I want to create this look. I just love it. So pretty. Okay. Oh, these are more, these are some more of the coloring books that I told you I bought already. We already saw those. Okay. Yeah, because I bought one, two, three, four of each. So oh, I could do, um, I can keep uh, one of each and then do the rest for giveaways. And then I sent two of them out in Happy Mail already. So, and then I got this coloring book. I, I don't, hopefully this isn't the same one I bought last time. Um, I think these girls are gorgeous. And this is going to be a great coloring book to color. I think they're just so adorable. Look how cute they are. Now, this isn't considered an adult coloring book, but these girls are adorable, and I can't wait to color them. Look. So cute. They remind me of, I'm trying to think of the girls. This lady um, draws these girls. What are they called? They look something like these. This is also going to go for inspiration for me because I do want to create my own like little character that I draw and put her in all different types of like situations, you know? So like, you know, she's wearing a snow hat, she's drinking coffee, she's wearing mitt, you know, stuff like that. So it's also for inspiration, but also to color. Cause I love, maybe I should have picked one up for giveaways. I just didn't think, I didn't know how many people would like these or not. But, love. I wish I could think of those one dolls or what they're called. And she has the, oh, I can't think of that, or what, what they're called. Maybe it'll hit my brain, I hope. Okay. I need some things to hit my brain. Um, I went to another Dollar Tree and they had the big, huge things of lipsticks again at my other Dollar Tree I went to. So I picked up a few more of these lipsticks that I didn't need. Um, let me see. I did on my last um, my last uh, Dollar Tree haul, I um, tested all of these out. So, um, what colors are these? Okay, I think... I think the, I don't know what the heck I did. I think I bought these for someone. I think this, this is the hot, this is like a pink color. Cause I have this color for myself, but I have enough of these. It's a pink color, number five. And then I don't know about those two. And then um, this number 48, it's one of my favorite colors. It's the one I'm wearing right now. It's hard to see, but this is what they look like, okay? So pick the go look at these, pick these up. These are great. They're called um City Color Matte Lipsticks. Um look at my last video. I took them out of the package and I swatched up tons of them. So you can see almost all the colors. At least all the colors I like and the ones I wanted to get for friends. But this is what it looks like, the packaging. Now they say they're matte, but they are so rich and creamy. You put them on. And I let them just dry to see how matte they get. They don't get like a matte, matte, like desert dry. They just get a little bit dry. But if you put on a lip gloss, right after you put the lipstick on, put a lip gloss on, they're nice and moisturizing. And they're such rich, rich, rich pigment. I love it. And they must, they're not full of mineral oil or any of that, or I would get a major headache. And I didn't get a major headache from these. So these are made with good stuff. Um, so there's those. These are also in the uh, giveaway that I'll be announcing um, at the end of the video. Okay. What time are we at? Okay. Um, then I picked up three of these, one for a giveaway, uh, the B color gel lamps, mini lamps, UV lamps for your gel nail polish. I couldn't believe these are at Dollar Tree. I'm like, what? I want to see what they look like. You want to see what they look like? I do. open this <clears throat> open okay it says open here I 
I'm going to break a nail trying to open this. I was so mad about this broken nail. I just looked up and the, my nail was broken. I was like, I don't even know how I did it. It must have had like a little crack in it and just, I touched something and there it went. Okay, you guys, I can't open the damn thing. It says open here. Is there tape on it or something? I don't understand why it won't open. I want to see what it looks like. I'm going to try for another second or two. I see it getting ready to open. Why would it be this hard? Maybe there's tape on the ends. Is there? Oh. I think, I think there is tape on the ends. I don't know why they would have it taped up. Just a second. I'm, is it taped up on the end? <clears throat> I want to open this for you guys because I haven't seen anybody else open this. And maybe there's a reason why nobody else opened it because they can't get it open. Oh my God. You guys, it's opening. I can actually see it opening and it just... Oh my gosh, I got it open. For some reason, okay, there must be something sealed on this side. supposed to open it because there's nothing inside here okay I'm not really sure how this works oh my god I just took all that time to open this this is what it looks like there's the top and there's the bottom okay I don't know how this whole thing works I need to read the directions sorry I just took all that time <laughs> that was ridiculous all right I'm not gonna take time to read these directions right now so just know they have the gel lights, and I'm not sure how this works. Um, I don't really think I was supposed to open it. It said the word open, so I don't know. But they have these, so pick it up and then read the directions. Okay. That was ridiculous. Okay, moving on. Um, here's another one of those. Puffs tissue. Um, stuff like the tissue, the foil... And all that kind of stuff, it's a good deal at Dollar Tree. Even if you have to buy a couple of packs to equal what is at the, at the stores. I mean, do your math, but a lot of times it's cheaper. So, um, I have got some, um, I've been wanting to, it's the first time I was able to find it. Um, the Yardley soap. I like this. And in fact, I think I wouldn't mind bathing with this either. I think I would like it for bathing. Um, I use some goat milk soap right now, and I also use, um, I can't think of the other brand, but I use a goat milk soap. Um, but uh, I've been using this on my hands, and it doesn't break me out. It feels really nice and moisturizing. So this one is the one, I've been using this one on my hands at my sink, and I've been loving it. It's uh, the oatmeal almond. And someone had opened it. I didn't even see that. So hopefully everything's okay. And then this one is a cinnamon swirl. And I wanted to buy a couple of those. Because everyone said how good this one smelled too. So. Oh, it does smell nice. Ooh, really nice. Okay. I just have to be careful because if soaps have too much. Um, I need them to be like not very high. Like alkaline. Not a bunch of chemicals. So that's why. Ooh, it's getting dark outside. It's only like 4, 4.30 here. It's dark as anything. Okay, then I picked up. I've been saying I needed to do this. I needed to replace my kitchen towels, okay? My kitchen towels are old as hell, okay? And they were looking rugged. They've been looking rugged. So Dollar Tree does have 100% cotton towels. You just have to look. Most of them are that, um, that one synthetic fabric that we all hate the way it feels but there are ones that are 100 percent so i bought a ton because i needed to replace all my kitchen towels so it was an affordable way i think to replace my kitchen towels um <coughs> one more of those or 
two more. How many did I buy of these? I buy four? I bought three or four of these. I know I want to do some for giveaways, so. Okay. I think I bought four. I bought two more of these lipsticks. Number 36. It's the color I'm wearing right now. I just love this color. I have no business buying it because I already have so many. I probably am five or six deep in this color. But look how beautiful it is. It's like a plummy color. Like I said, um, look at my last video and I swatch all these. Okay? That's why I'm not opening them up and swatching them now because I did that already. Um, so I picked up one, two, three, four, five, six of this one. I think it's beautiful. So let me, I don't need to show you. There's six. And they are 100% cotton, you guys. And I bought these before. So I didn't know that they had cotton ones. I just forgot because so many of them are that, um, that, that one fiber fabric that we all hate. Um, that fake stuff that don't dry the dishes and it feels horrible on your hands, but this is this 100% cotton. And these are, um, they're, they, they absorb nicely. I really, really like them. So, and these are, these are beautiful. I love, this matches my kitchen really well. Um, was it say my morning coffee, true friend. I didn't, I just love how they look. Love it. And then I picked up, I think one, two, three, four of this. This also matches my kitchen. This wine one. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. So I picked up four of these. And all my old kitchen towels, I'm not throwing them in the garbage. I'm not even using them as rags. Uh, you know, ra uh, just whatever type of rags to use around the house. I'm going to dye them. So I'm going to do that rust dyeing I was talking about on them. Also, you can use uh, like the Tim Holtz dyes and you can dye fabric, but I'm going to dye all those towels. They're real textured. It'll look really cool to use in my um, mixed media projects. So um, I'm excited about that. Okay. So those all need to go in the wash so we can start using those. Okay, last bag. Um, just got some panty liners. Make sure if you get the panty liners, you get the ones that have the 40 count. Because they all rip you off and give you 16 for the same amount of money. These are great. Good deal. Um, I picked up three more of these because, um, let me get these out and I'll show you what I do. These are the ones that you can stack on top of each other and then this is a drawer that comes out. So that's why you can stack them on each other. I take them and I E6000 them all together. And I set them up in like stacks of five going all the way across. And I usually need about 15 of them to do it or 20 of them. 15 to 20 of them. And they stack like this. And you can E6000 them all together. So then you have those nice clear drawers. And you can use them for your makeup. You can use them for your jewelry. I use them, I use them everywhere. I have them in my bathroom for jewelry. I have them in my, um, on my makeup table like that. Um, all stacked up, like I said, like 20 of them all glued together, um, for makeup and, um, also in my craft room, I have a set up like that. I didn't realize I did it, did it this many times. And also in my art studio. Oh my God. I've done this a lot. I don't have this like this on my makeup table. I have it only in my bathroom with jewelry in it. And then I have one for, um, in my craft room and I did all my washi tape and like paper clips in them. And then in my, I did another one of those and I have it in my art studio um, at my table. So you stack them up four or five high, uh, use 6,000 of them together. So that's one set. Then do it again and do it again and do it to as many as you need. I like to be like um, stack them five and then go five across. So I have like a nice big thing that I can organize whatever I need to organize. So. Um, I learned about that. I mean, I mean, that's an old thing. A lot of people have done that on, um, a lot of people have done that as a DIY, so. But I love doing it. I didn't realize how many times I have that in my house. It's crazy. Finally, I found this. I've been wanting to find this. I think this is really cool. Um, it's a premium, uh, pad folio. Look how nice this is. It looks kind of snake skinish. It's going to be hard to see with my with my ring lights, you're not going to see it. But anyway, 
and it's eight by it's eight and a half by eleven. Yeah, fifty sheets. But what I thought was, I thought it was like a like a um, it's a hardcover. This what? See, it's a hardcover. I thought this was like a journal, but it's more like a list pad, like a big legal list pad. See? Here's the paper. So I picked up one. I'm thinking about going, I should have picked up two probably. But I don't usually use things like this, but my husband does. So I picked up one for him. I asked him if he wanted one more. He goes, no, just one. But he'll love it and then he'll, it'll be gone and he'll be like, so I'll probably go back and pick up a couple more if they're not all gone. I'm wondering if it's a replaceable paper, if you can replace the paper. Nope, see, it's a one-time deal. You can't replace the paper. So anyway, I thought this was really, really nice. So, I picked up one of those. Like I said, hopefully I can go back and pick up more. Oh, um, just really quick. Remember I was telling you about the pieces that I'm going to rust? I also had the crosses. I bought two of them. How cool would that look on fabric rusted? So that shape might come out in there. I mean, all type of rust mishmash will be all over the fabrics that I'm dyeing and the dish, the, the oh, my old dish cloths, my own dish uh, towels, which I'm excited about. But also the shape of this cross will probably be in there too. So, really excited about those. Okay, you guys, I think that's everything. Oh, the only thing I need to do now is I need to talk about the winner, right? Okay. What time are we at? Okay. Not that it totally matters. I just kind of... Try to stay in control of myself. Okay, um, the winner, and I won't go through everything that was in the um, in the giveaway last time because I already went through it all in the last video. So the winner will know what's in the what's in the bag and what it looks like is this. <clears throat> the basket's not included, but everything in here is. See. So all this stuff. One of those white caboodles. Full of lipsticks. Ah! So if you missed that that video from last week, go back to my Dollar, my last Dollar Tree haul and you'll see all those lipsticks. You'll see everything that's in this, in this giveaway. You'll see all the swatch of those lipsticks. Okay, so the winner is, um, I had my Alexa choose number 14. She'll talk now, watch. Um, and number 14 is Artsy Girl, Marianne, Artsy Girl Marilyn. Yay, Artsy Girl! She's been with me forever. You're so sweet. You always comment on everything I do. I totally appreciate it. You're such a big supporter. You're so sweet and kind. I love you. Thank you so much. And you totally deserve this. So all those goodies will be coming to you as soon as I get your address. So, um, okay, in the uh, description below... Don't go to my, you think you would go to my, um, my Yahoo, my, um, email, but don't go to my email because some, for some reason the clickable link don't work. So go to where it says my Etsy shop, click on the clickable link in the subscribe, in the, um, description. It'll take you to my Etsy shop in the right hand corner. It'll say contact, hit, hit the contact button and then it'll take you, um, to an area where you can go ahead and leave your address and it's all private, of course, and I will get your goodies out to you. So. RC Girl Marilyn, congratulations. Yay! So happy that you won. Because um, she's been with me for so long. So, and I think it might be her first time she's won a giveaway with me. I'm not sure. I don't know. But anyway, okay, you guys, um, this is Christmas Eve. Tomorrow's Christmas. Happy holidays, everyone. Enjoy tomorrow um, if you celebrate. If not, happy holidays. Enjoy whatever you do celebrate. And, um, cause I look at Christmas or, um, or the holidays as, and whatever you do celebrate as, um, a season, not just one day. So I think that makes it a lot easier not to be such a letdown to say, to say it's a season. And for me, the season starts November 1st, cause that's when I start decorating my house. So I have a, I have two months to celebrate, you know, Christmas or whatever, like I said, whatever holiday you celebrate. And, um, just really quick something about that. Is I hear a lot of people say that like they're so bummed out because they just got the house decorated because they don't start till December 1st or even the second week of December and now I have to already take it down and then they're all bummed out. You guys, I mean, this is just what this is just how I think about it. You don't have to, you can do what you want, but start earlier. If uh, you think November 1st is too early, start in the middle of November because then 
at least by December 1st, you can have your house done. You don't have to stress about that anymore. You can enjoy it for a month. Um, and it just be more joyful than I think it's when people start too late. They always start like the day after Thanksgiving or that first week of December. And of course, then you only have two or three weeks and you've done all this work. Yeah, I would be kind of bummed out too, but I'm not bummed out because I start November 1st. So this year I actually started the second week of November because I had gotten sick and, um, so it got me and I, and it got me behind anyway. Um, so anyway, and it went for my uh, Christmas, um, crafting I start that in October and for my fall crafting I start that in August and September so then it gives me plenty of time to get some crafts done and um, I'm not all stressed out <laughs> start early that's what I'd say anyway you guys happy holidays and um, thank you guys for all your support and all your kind words you guys are all so sweet to me and so kind and so supportive I totally appreciate it that's why I try to do so many giveaways over the last like month or six weeks or eight weeks I've been doing a lot of giveaways so but and the giveaways are going to continue so as you can see I bought a bunch of stuff for giveaways all right you guys I'll talk to you guys in the next video happy holidays bye